Hello and welcome back to Vlashish. This is episode two. And we are into part two of August. We're going to finish off the harvest, try and see if we can get some grass cut, and see if we can get some cows going. Just with some basic hay to start with. Right, let's just get that all connected up. Well, Let's get the header connected and then we'll get going, get the harvest onto a onto a worker. Let's, uh, first we need to unfold the tool of course. Let's not forget our basics. And we'll just get onto the field and then we'll put that onto course play. Where are we going? There we go. Course play. We're in the bottom field now. Create the job. Course play field work. First, that's it. Why? Leave it with three headlands and Y X start the job. There we go. And away she goes. So while we're waiting for that to fill up, we're going to get some of this grass mode. So where are we on the back? Get it unfolded. And turn the one front going. There we go, let's get yeah, we're on the one spread. <laughs> Okay, so basically we're just going to try and get some hay going and we'll do some initial silage work as well. We don't have uh, any, we don't have a silage pit, a silage clamp should I say. So that will need to be bought. We might just do half of this as hay got with and then um, just get a few cows going we'll do a few uh, silage we've got straw which we're busy doing it's a bit uneven there not sure how this cut is actually working but we'll see we'll eventually see once we get around Put this on a bit of a time lapse while we whizzing around here until we finish this, and by that time we should need to get back to the harvester, get it emptied. See you in a while. Right, you're back with me. We've just finished this top little section. Got a full tank of grain, so we're going to nip over there now quickly and go and get that sorted. So let's just get into our 
Steyr and luckily we just up the drag here. Let's probably have to chase it for a little while. Just finished one lap. One lap. <laughs> one uh, headland. I think we'll, we'll, ba we'll basically wait until it's sort of nine, ten thousand litres full. Bringing in the harvest is the most important at this point in time. More important than getting the cattle going. We've still got time. Leave that for now and then we'll go back and finish off this other little field here. We haven't got much to do. It's pretty quick, there's not a huge amount of grass here, it doesn't look like it's going to set any records for or yield. <laughs> but yeah, it may just get us going with a couple of cattle couple of cows. We'll see how it goes. It's always interesting. And go right in between the trees just to Make it a bit, a bit easier on the baling, etc. Cut up here. Take a bit out there. And then we'll come back down here. Not a lot left to do on this little area. Can also get some grass and hay from the top area up here as well. Should take long just to get this done. So let's lift that the back lift that and we'll just nip across the road. Oh why did I why did I do that? Not a serious problem but still do this little area over here. And let's get that get on the front. Should be working. There's some fairly steep areas here, so we need to be a bit careful. So 
just take one one strip around this area here. Once we get to around about here, we'll head on down to this little area here. This is sort of the area between the two fields. Then we'll take another strip as we go along the top there. Yeah, so I don't know how much we, how many bales we'll get out of this lot. It's probably not a huge amount, but it'll be enough to get a few ca a few cars going. Got to start somewhere. Just got to keep keep our eye on the time as well. run out of time with regard to the harvest. I don't mind picking up the straw after the harvest is done, but yeah, I do want to bring in all the do want to bring in the crop, so to speak. It's, it's quite a big Quite a big drop down there so we won't spend a lot of time trying to get down that area we can do it when we've got a bit more time it's got to be easier fields that we can eventually buy to get grass from and we'll just nip across in front of the farm and it'll take us back down to where we started I'm sure we could take, eventually take grass off right away down that bank. It'd be interesting, but we could do it. So maybe what we should do is we'll do this as we'll do that first field as hay, so we'll get the tether out and we'll do that and this we will rake up and make up into silage and we should be able to make some TMR in the very near future probably be able to get a few cars going just with with hay as well Silage is being made. Should take us down to the bottom here. I think we leased this equipment, didn't we? So we could get this back down to. Well, as soon as we finish here, first of all, what we'll do is we'll we'll just go and we've probably got a, another full tank of grain. I would think. Are we going to get through here? Yeah. Here we go. All right. Let's switch that off. Switch that off. Fold that. Yeah, go to the front one and we'll fold that and lift that. And we're ready to go back there. Let's go and have a look. Yep, that's ready to be 
scaffold where we just done the drag there so not, not too too far away so will get really close to actually filling this now so we may have to deliver this before we do any more on the grass Gonna take much to fill this, I don't think. What is this, about twenty thousand? So and we don't want to go back up and down with half load, half loads here because it's a little bit of a way. It's a little ways from here back to the to the silo. So I think it's best to try and get a full load. We had 93% so it's not too bad. Maybe by the time we're ready to do this last turn we'll be... Well, we won't be full I don't think. Because this could be getting close to the end of the third headland now. We might have to chase around a bit. Oh, struggling on the hill here. So I think it's going to change now. I think it's going to change into up and down. We can chase with him. getting in the way now. Oh, 99% full. Okay, we're on the right side, so that's good. Just top this off. There we go. We're going to deliver this, and then we'll, while we're there, we will just pop on down to the to the store and go and change the mower over for a tedder get that back to the farm and then by then we should have to oh it's really struggling up that little hill by then we should be ready to come and load take another load off yeah see you once we get back to the farm. Actually we will uh, we haven't done this trip on the way back and I do love that little lane so we'll we'll show it to you see show you how well this map is made all these little undulations as you go through through everything. I think this must be the next grass field that we look to buy at the top here after we've perhaps bought that one just down the road from us because this is also relatively close. Here you can see with this wonderful little track. Oh it's rough. It's great. Also gives us quite a scenic view driving back so quite happy with that. What have we got? 22,000 litres here. So we've got a reasonable stock of uh, of wheat at the moment. Our next job, and I don't know whether we'll be able to get that started today, is we will have to do some soil analysis on these fields. That'll probably be our first job in September. We can prepare those fields, get the right amount of lime into them, pre 
prepare them for our next crop it's probably if we can get everything done and I'm not sure whether we can plant barley in September might be canola we'll see we can see that the landscape has changed slightly with us cutting the grass there oh, this is going to be interesting trying to get this up this hill here now here we go come on come on stay up put your back into it yeah here we go we'll make it we'll make it it's a tough old biddy this thing Oh, and he's just going to make it. <laughs> Was it quite a sort of little increase in steepness, or was it just the general bleeding off of the speed as we came around there? So we need to try and keep some speed coming around that corner at the bottom there now. Easier said than done with a full load on the trailer. See, we've got our first few eggs. Here we go. All right, so we'll get this down to the bottom there just so that it's ready to go. And then we will jump into the class and we'll nip off to the store quickly. Go and drop these off. I think we've leased that. We didn't buy it. I'm pretty sure we didn't buy it. Just make sure. Yeah, yeah with those we, we leased here. Yeah. Okay, we we'll take a trip down to the shop quickly. Try not to be too hasty, especially going across the bridge here. This is that little field I was mumbling on about earlier on. Just to we've just passed on the right hand side. Here we go. Take a chance. So what did you say we're gonna do? We're we gonna go and get a ted tedder to start with. Then we'll also have to lease a baler. And it's probably release and with yeah so we'd have to lease a baler and we also have to we need to look at the price for leasing a a bale wrapper as opposed to just putting in a silage pit at uh, this silage pit why do i keep on calling it a silage pit now silage clamp We're just down this road, yes. Go left here. Go left, go left. There we go. It's another little field over here of grass that we can look at. That's fairly flat, it's be easy to mow that. And this little area here, so there's plenty of grass meadows to be bought. Right, let's just drop this off here. Oops. Right, and we can unhook that, go back, unhook that, there we go, nip into the shop quickly, and we will go and lease, well first of all we'll, we'll return that. And we'll return that. Okay, now we will go and lease a tether. It doesn't have to be a tiny tether. I 
I think maybe this one here. 8.7, 9 meters. 8.7 is probably the better one. So slightly cheaper, not much, but slightly cheaper. So we'll lease that. 800 euros. I think we did it. Did we lease it? Oh, gone the wrong way again. Yeah, we did. Let's go and put that on quickly and then we'll go and check out the harvester. Right, we'll catch you when we're back at the farm. Right, so we're back. Just park this there for now. We'll jump into the... We weren't in the styre. I was... We were in the Massey. Why did I get... Where did I get a styre? Do we have a styre? Am I getting confused? Well, we'll see you when we back at the field and collecting the harvest. See you then. Right, we're just about back at the field and I'm hoping we will be able to looks like it's full and waiting to be emptied and it looks like it's going to be on the wrong side as well. In any case um, yeah, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to get this full, well, the rest of this field into this trailer and perhaps perhaps what's a little bit left in the, oops, I think we've gone in too close. Go. Oh, I forgot it was going to require me to chase it. So hopefully it'll pull out when it fills up again. Yep, he will. Just unfortunate sometimes we're on the wrong side. Of course we're faffing around. We should be sitting here waiting and we could have kept him empty. Well not empty but taking off uh, crop as we every time he goes down on the down leg so to speak. But we do have to try and do other things as well. We have committed ourselves, or well, I have committed ourselves, <laughs> to uh, bringing in some some hay and grass. And we are starting to run out of time. We 20 to 4 already. Is that full? Yep. Just let that hang in there. And we'll nip on back and go and do some tedding. So I think we will ted this and make hay out of this this field here, and we'll make a silage out of the other side. Alright, let's get this done. See how long this is gonna take. It shouldn't take too long. But those, of course, are famous last words. It shouldn't take too long.
Yeah, it's working pretty well. So we'll do this in a bit of a time lapse as well. And we'll catch you once it's done. Right, so you back with me. Just finishing off the tedding, and I see we've got a full tank of grain, so we've almost got that perfectly timed, not quite. We'll just finish this off quickly and then we'll go and sort that out. I'm presuming that, it, it, that the field has not been fully harvested <laughs> uh, because we would have. Got the message that the work had completed the job, so it's going to be interesting to see how much we still got to do. Right, so that's the last little bit that needs to be just turned over. We can stop that, lift it, and fold it, and we will just drive this to the front of the. I suppose we can f call it a fuel, the front of the meadow. We'll just park it down there and then we'll nip on over to the wheat field. Then we'll come back, take this back and get the windrow and do some windrowing. Right, let's get back into there. And we are on the right side, so we should, should be able to chase all the way down. 42% yeah we should be able to have this field finished with what we can get in here and maybe carrying a little bit back in the in the combine it's not going to be too much of a problem that there you go we should Come on, just roll down the hill. Um, should be able to take this off. Let it empty. And then, uh, we hope. How are we doing? Will we be able to get up? No, we won't. We'll have to go and chase it on the way back down again. So I don't think this will give us a full load. No, it won't. It won't be far off though. take it to the top and then we'll wait for the harvester to come back to the top and we'll chase it on the way down and that should fill us up oh, I don't know you know each leg gets shorter and shorter on this got a little bit of tidying up to do afterwards not much it's one of those whether it's worthwhile actually doing the tidying up or not then of course we've still got to bale all the it's probably going to be worthwhile looking at buying a baler we're going to be in the way hopefully not 
I need a short little run down. Don't think we will be full. Don't think so. Might be doing this for a little while actually. So I'm thinking that that's pretty empty, so what I'm going to do is Do I take a chance or not? Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to take a chance that the rest of that will fit into the into the baler, not to the baler, into the harvester, to the combine. We'll be able to cart that back in the combine. What we'll do is we'll go and deliver this, then we'll go and change over the tether for a windrower and by the time we get back from that we should be able to come back up here pick up the harvester put the header onto the trailer and bring that back down to the farm then we should be able to finish off the grass work Well, we might not finish it off today, but we might get close to finishing it off today. So far, so good. Let's not count our chickens before they hatch. <laughs> How many cliches can you get through in a game like this? Right, we'll see when we're back at the farm. Right, we're just right back here. I'm just going to see if we... I've taken that at full throttle and yeah, I still think we're going to be at one or two miles an hour once we get through this top little spot to see this it's just a, it's a little bit of an extra rise as you come in here and this is where we struggled the last time but uh, there we go yeah we only just make the crest and I was going as best fast as I could go up there. This isn't our most uh, powerful tractor, of course, the class is. So we may have to consider that in the future. In any event, we'll just offload this. And then we'll go and get the windrow. Somewhere along the line we should get a message saying that the work is finished or we'll get a message that we don't want saying that the harvester is full. Right, let's get this back. We're pushing the envelope now, we're at five o'clock. Right, so we're back at the shop, we've just dropped off the Tedder, we'll go and return that and we'll get ourselves a windrower. So let's get that returned. Okay, and we'll go and look at the windrowers. Once again, we don't need anything too big. I think I know which one. That's the one that's probably going to be the best for our job. And release that. Yes. Right, let's get that back. I 
I don't know whether I've missed the... Um, the notification that the work is finished. We'll check it once we get back to the farm. Just hitch, hitch this up and... Alright, we'll catch you when we're back at the farm. See you there. Right, we're just about back at the farm. I think we will windrow the grass first because we can leave the, the tethered equipment, oh, well, the tethered grass to to dry. So let's just, yeah, and that is done. So, dismiss the worker, send them home. And we'll just do a bit of tidying up quickly. How much are we still got? Yo, we had plenty of room left in the harvester. It was not even... There was no jeopardy whatsoever, was there? Let's just tidy up these little bits and pieces. Not a huge amount, really, but... So, I'm thinking we was probably not going to get the cars going in this... Um, in August so we will try and get the the grass windrowed we won't worry too much about the the hay yet we'll windrow that we'll finish off that job in September And then in September we'll also have to analyze both of these fields. And let's have a quick look and see what we can plant in September. And then September. So we can plant wheat, barley. Yeah. So we'll get that analyzed. Hopefully get the at least one of the fields. Um, well, we can plant in October as well. So, yeah, we'll be able to get those analysed between September and October and plant it with barley just to have a bit of crop rotation, slight as it is. I'd rather have put in something like sunflower or a root crop or something like that, but... Yeah. We'll put barley in instead of wheat for... the for the next harvest but in the meantime just got to tidy up at this this is the main area that I wanted to tidy up because that was a, a reasonable amount it was not a amount that we would want to just leave on the field it looks like we've missed something here might have been when we were all floating. So we'll pick that up. Got some more down here. I'm not going to worry too much if I've missed a couple of little bits, scraps here and there. But if I see it, I'll take it to this corner and then we'll go and put this back onto the header trailer, hook it up and we'll head on back to the to the farm. Good, good. Switch that off. Just try not to get caught in the floating tree again. Oh, there's a little bit more of here we can we should take off. Yeah. This is where it was changing over the headlands. So 
lifts a little bit, it's not much there though. But we're going past it, it would be a shame to leave it. There we go. It's a good job done. This is going to be interesting because that hook is at a very strange angle there. Now we've got caught exactly where we didn't want to get caught again. Well, you've had to do some by hook or by crook stuff, but I think we'll be able to get it connected this time. Will we? I think so. Come on. There we go. Now we've just got to get it out of here. And we'll head on back to the farm. And we'll see you once we're there. Right, we're back at the farm. Now we'll see if this harvest will get up here. Oh, that is going up here with ease. Of course, it's double the horsepower of anything else that we've got. <laughs> Just get the pipe out. Empty that out. Need to get something to wash our equipment. Being a little bit sorry for itself at the moment. Right, let's nip on quickly and see if we can do a bit of windrowing just to end the day off. We'll go and have a quick look as well before we end off as to what we've uh, actually got off the two fields. Let's get this done quickly and then we can in this episode. Do the same as we did when we remote as we'll just nip on down here, get this done. Sort of once around the field basically. And then just colouring in the the edges, so to speak, the bottom part and the top part. We're getting a, a fair swath. Should get a 
decent amount of bales out of this. Considering it's not, well, I was going to say it's not costing us anything, it's actually costing us a fortune because we've had to lease all the equipment to do this work. you back with me and we just about finished with the windrowing of the grass keep it nice and fresh for baling in the morning we'll pale it relatively early we'll do that first before we even oops there's a bit of a mixture of straw in there don't think it'll be too much of a problem and I think that's pretty much where we're going to end this episode. So we didn't quite get the cars going, but we got close to it. Let's get that switched off and folded. We do need to keep that for the, for the hay, so we will hold on to that for a day. It's going to be, it's going to cost a bit, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Park that off there. And we'll just unhook that. Switch off the lights, switch off the tractor. And the lights get out there. Yeah, so as dusk comes in we'll just go and have a look and see how much we've got in the in the silo so we've got 64,000 plus we put 15,000 into the chickens so that's 79,000 just under 80,000 liters out of those two fields so that's a nice little start we've got the The grass windrowed ready for making silage so we just have to decide whether we're going to put in a silage pit or a a or bale it I think silage pits probably going to be the best way to do we'll see see what happens there and then we've also got to do so yeah so that's pretty much what we've done We've got hay on the field, on the other field, um, or the other meadow, should I say, um, which we will windrow and bale on the morrow. We've got to bale the straw, bring that in, and yeah, so there's plenty to do tomorrow, and we've got to analyze those fields and start getting barley planted. Plenty to do. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!